Welcome to Jainagar guys. We are here at, I would say, the famous Rogue Elephant Cafe. Boxes are defeated. Purpose always fleeting. I pose questions to the ceiling like an answer gonna come. Truth is too revealing. I saw it on pictures. I thought it would look cute, but I did not expect what I'm experiencing now. Can you hear those birds? There's a massive tree in front of me. You are completely surrounded by a garden. Honestly, this is everything I've been dreaming of during lockdown and there is a delicious pasta here. Let me try that. Mm. Yep. Thank you. <laughs> no, no, that's it. Thank you so much. Remember those days, those L's I could sleep right now. I get paid, fake game, stay in peace. I break in the blues over steak, I gotta eat right. You could be my peace sign. I don't need that energy around me. Romy's here. Hi. Hi, Hi Lana. <laughs> and this is your neighborhood. Yeah, welcome. <laughs> Thank you so much for having us in Jainagar. What do you think of this place? I actually love this place. I've been coming here for quite a long time. I love the ambience and there's this cute little store next door and it's in this heritage bungalow, so I love it. It's really nice. So what's your favorite thing to eat here and to drink? Okay, I, I like their banana walnut cake. It's one of the best. Mm -hmm. And they also have this signature salad. If you like salads, they have this panna cotta salad, which is very unique. No one else in town does it, so you should check it out. Awesome. <laughs> when you took your mask off, I was like, oh, you remind me of my dad. <laughs> very nice to meet you, Anand, sir. My pleasure. So, how did you get started with uh, with Rogue Elephant? My partner, Sheila and me, we've known each other for many, many, many years. She wanted to start the business and wanted me to be her partner. Mm -hmm. As a result of a hurricane which hit the Cayman Islands where I was working previously, yeah, I came back to India. That's how the Rogue Elephant started. It's lovely and I heard you guys actually expanded to that part, right? We have, yeah. We've just taken over this area over here and increased our seating capacity. I was actually very happy with the small restaurant before, but uh, Madam wanted a bigger restaurant, now we have a bigger restaurant. <laughs> so what do you think makes Rogue Elephant such a special place in Bangalore? Very, very simple. It's the fact that we're completely al fresco. It's al fresco, it's old Bangalore charm, basically it's the charm of Bangalore you don't find anymore very easily. On your hand you can count places that have this kind of... We're very lucky. We have a beautiful setting. It's a 140-year-old property. Uh, it's set in one and a half acres of garden. There's a phenomenal park opposite us that will never get developed. So it's an oasis of charm and that's all we want. That's our USP is the Alpesco. Everything we do and make is fresh and as authentic as possible. So that makes it, I suppose, uh, nice. special. Thank you so much. Not so. Just the other day, I saw you looking my way. I start to contemplate, moments that went to waste. I Why you do that? You drop me like who that? And put me through that? My baby is useless, I'm living my life. I couldn't really speak here because there were quite a lot of people, but everything was safe and the menu looked super yummy. The prices are a bit on the higher end, but I think that's okay considering the ambiance. I really trust my senses, catch me if I fall, so don't 
done with second guess And you seem to have it all And love enough for anything Emotional too soon You got my invitation Now the rest is up to you Kick it rendezvous Make some time for me and you Get you over, treat you right We vibing like a uh -huh. Kick it rendezvous Make some time for me and you Get together you and I A secret, watch it as you breathe it. Save your love for me, save, 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 save your love for me, save. We're arriving at our final stop of the day in another wonderful green cafe in Bangalore. It's called Green Theory. I've been thinking about the good times. I've been sleeping through the long nights. I've been shining in the sunlight. I've been thinking how I'm alright. There's a reason for my feelings. There's a reason why I'm healing. Yeah, I feel higher than the ceiling. All because of you. The menu here is also only digital and the prices are definitely on the higher end. This is probably because of the location because this cafe is in the center of Bengaluru. However, they do have outdoor power plugs and even when it's raining, this is a lovely place to sit outside and enjoy nature. Especially during monsoon season, I'd say this is a winner. Lately I've been low time, losing all control, Henny with the soda. I've been on a roll, I've been taking toll. I just wanna roam, I've been ready for them bad days, trying to take it slow. I spent the rest of the afternoon just working here and enjoying the ambiance. Their chai was also lovely. Do you know an amazing cafe in Bengaluru that you'd like to share? Make sure to comment it down below. I've linked the previous two episodes with more Bengaluru cafes in the description below. If you enjoyed these kind of videos and would like me to make more of them, make sure to put a thumbs up. Also consider subscribing and joining 230,000 other subscribers. It's free and you'll get a notification whenever I post a new video. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time!